Hello and welcome back to the Feed My Sheep Foundation uh, video channel. Uh, we are continuing our study in the book of Romans. We are in chapter 5. Today is May the 6th, 2022. And again, we're going to recollect Romans being the letter that uh, Paul wrote to the Rome, Romans that he had converted, the people in Rome that, ha that were converted into the kingdom of God. Okay, and just reminding them of uh, their faith and how they, they became uh, saved, salvation, and remind them of salvation. So we're in chapter 5. It says, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So once you believe in Christ Jesus and you are converted into the kingdom, he has, God has given you his Holy Spirit, um, you are justified by Heavenly Father to be righteous toward him, you know, and again, going back on that same, on my previous video in chapter four, that, you know, it's nice to do good things and we should all do good things. But if you think that because you're doing good and you haven't believed in Christ Jesus and the Heavenly Father made you and he came for your salvation, then that's not going to be considered faithful to God. Okay. So verse two says, by whom also we have access by faith into his grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation works patience. And patience, experience, and experience a hope. And hope makes not a shame what we hope for from Christ Jesus. So because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given to us, okay? So that's uh, chapter 5, Romans, verse 1 through five where Paul is telling them and also telling us and reminding us of how the uh, Holy Ghost shed abroad in our heart and the conversion into the kingdom of God makes us righteous with the Heavenly Father. It says, uh, verse six, for when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly, that was us, Okay, because we were considered ungodly. Every human being on the face of the earth uh, that came, you know, of was, that was birth, I should say, was considered ungodly. So for scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet perhaps for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commended his love toward us <clears throat> in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Okay. And it says, much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through our relationship with Christ Jesus, okay? And keeping it also, we must also remember that because there are certain things that the Heavenly Father has already said, and we discussed that in the beginning, Romans chapter 1, where he said uh, he was preaching, or was teaching and talking to the saints, and then it gives us, uh, in verse 18, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who know the truth. Okay, they know the truth already in righteousness, but they go on to do certain things. And those things are listed in chapter 1 in the book of Romans. Okay, so let's go on. So it says, uh, <clears throat> much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Okay, so then it tells us right here, I'm going to stop for a second in this verse 10, how, uh, you know, we were enemies when we were not covered under the blood of Jesus Christ, when we were not uh, filled and converted into the kingdom of God. So if you go backwards on that, then you become an enemy again. That's why it says in chapter 1 of this book how the wrath of God can come on someone that knows the truth but does not uh, walk in the truth. So uh, let's go ahead on. Verse 11, it says, Not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. Wherefore, as by one man sin... And entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. 
For unto the law sin was in the world, but sin is not imputed when there is no law. Okay? Nevertheless, death reigned from Adam to Moses, and even over them that had not sinned after the similitude of Adam's transgression, who is the figure of him that was to come. But not as the offense, so also is the free gift, and that is the free gift of salvation. For if through the offense of the one, many may be dead, much more the grace of God and the gift of by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, he has abounded unto many. Okay, that's why I continue to say that salvation is available to every living human being, but it is available to you if you believe what Christ Jesus did. If you, if some don't even believe in the Heavenly Father, some don't even believe in God. And so there is a transformation that needs to take place, okay? And um, let's go on to verse 16. It says, not as, And not as it was by one that sinned, so is the gift. For the judgment was by one to condemnation, but the free gift is of many offenses unto justification, okay? So being without the covering of the Holy Spirit, believing not in Christ Jesus as being your Savior, will cause you to be for the judgment, okay, of condemnation by the Heavenly Father, okay? Because he sees your sin, he sees the things that you do bad, and um, he doesn't see the covering of the Holy Spirit when you don't believe in Christ Jesus, and you have been converted into his kingdom. Okay, so verse 17 says that, For if by one man's offense death reigned by one, much more they which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness shall reign in life by one, Jesus Christ. Therefore, as by the offense of one judgment came upon all men to condemnation, even so, that was Adam, even so, by the righteousness of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life, which is Jesus Christ. For as by one man's disobedience many were made sinners, Adam, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous, Jesus Christ. Okay, so moreover, moreover the law entered that the offense might be abound. But where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. That is, sin has reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior, that we may be able to be converted into the kingdom of heaven, because that's what the conversion is all about. You become a celestial being, because without it, you are a terrestrial being, which means you are earthly. You are, and God can see the sinful nature that you have, okay? That's why Jesus Christ, he made it possible for his son, one of his being, one of his presence to come into the earth with salvation for each and every human being in the earth, okay? So God bless you. That's going to continue this Bible study for uh, Romans chapter 5. Remember, God loves you. Salvation is available to you. All you have to do is believe in Christ Jesus and know that the Heavenly Father is the God of the heavens and the earth, and he reigns and rules, hallelujah, by his Holy Spirit. So God bless you. See you on the next Bible study.